All right, guys, what's going on? I know what exactly is probably what you thought to myself is, oh my God, little Joe, where have you been? Well, I had to grow up, I had to learn some things, and now I have realized that I am no longer little Joe, but actually, my name is Joku. I'm not that serious, maybe I am Joku, but I am Joku, and I have realized lots of things that I love this game, it's called Dragon Ball Super, the card game, and I'm gonna show you some things. This is not really like for super advanced players. I think these videos are more just for players that wanna get in the game. Maybe you should already know the basics of how the game works, but I'm gonna focus on the card, and I'm gonna talk about that card. I'm just basically gonna tell you how maybe it's some way to play it and have some fun with the game. -based. So this is the, my most favorite card in the whole game. -based. And this is the Awakened Power Son Joku. And this card is also people will call it Victor Strike, is maybe kind of what some people are gonna call it. But you can see it's like this is a really shiny card. This is also has become like real expensive card. I kind of bought like four of them when I thought you could have four in your deck, but I don't buy four of them, you can only have one in your deck. I bought them a long time ago when they were kind of more cheap. But now this is a really expensive card. So this is a really cool card because basically what this card does is you're swinging at the guy and boom, if you hit them, if the card is boom, hit them, then basically what happens is you win the game. So if this hit goes through, it's game over, no more worry, that's how you're gonna win the game. This. So this card, I really like play it. I like this Broly leader. I really like Goku and I really like Broly. They're probably the, my most favorite these characters, these guys. So I put them in deck together and I really like to play it with this guy, this Broly. So basically what he does is you're mostly gonna use him on his unwakened side. And each time you're swinging with him is you're taking a life and you're taking a card. So you're getting really big handed advantage, which is really cool. You can build your hand super big, super fast. So there's a couple of things that you need to do. Basically, you need to get to turn four. If you can get to turn four and you can awaken on turn four, then you're super good. If you can't awake, if you have to awaken turn three, it's okay, it's not a huge deal. But if you can awaken turn four and you can find this guy from your deck, then you're gonna get really good for to hit the game. Boom, that's the game you're won again. So, basically the process is you're gonna get this Gramper. Gramper is one drop card, you play him out, and then you're gonna two drop swap for Lil Gohi. When you're gonna get Lil Gohi out, then on turn three, you can tap two energy and swap for, boom, this path for greatness, Goku. And when you get this path for greatness, Goku, you have to get seven cards in your dorp area. Once you're gonna get seven cards in your dorp area, then you can, boom, swap into this height of master Goku. And this guy, this is probably my most beautiful card. I think this card is so beautiful for my eye. I think it's such a nice card to look at. I have four of them because they're so beautiful in my eyes. I love to look at this card. This is my favorite t-shirt. This is my favorite card. This is the card that I thought, oh my God, this card, it's so beautiful. I need to begin to play this game. And that is this cool card. It's called Height of Mastery, Song Goku. And what happens is when you play this card, you can rest three of your opponent's cards but you have to play the card with swap. So you're gonna play it with this guy, you're gonna swap into this guy, and then it's like, oh, you left energy up and maybe you have blocker, sorry, not today, boom, you just rest them. You can rest barrier blocker, you can rest energy, you can rest everything with this dude, and then you can tap one energy to evolve into this guy. So that's the trick, it's turn four, you can get this guy out, turn four, then you can evolve him into this really shiny, really cool, really hot, real expensive, really cool card that you can win in the games. So I'm gonna talk a little bit more about kind of the deck and how I have it built. I think there's lots of ways to build this deck. Lots of people are playing this build with Super Shenron. I think Super Shenron is really stupid because you're not actually really playing the Dragon Ball Super card game game. It's kind of like you're just doing a bunch of PEMDAS and then you're winning and that's not really fun. I really like this deck because it's really good. It's really strong. It's solid deck, but you can also lose. And being able to lose with a deck is kind of important because that's part of the game. It's like, are you gonna win or are you gonna lose? And if you don't have any chance of losing, if you're just playing the whole game by never losing, then that's kind of stupid. And there's some other decks that do it, but whatever, I like this deck a lot. So basically you have to have engine to draw a card. That's really important. And your leader does that for you because every time you're swing, your draw card and your take a card for, or you take card from your life, then you get to draw a card. And when you do that, you're just getting two cards that turn. Now, if you can get your Gramper out turn one and you see one this Beedle, that's really good because you can swap Beedle in for Gramper and then turn two, say you have two of these Beedle 
and you get two of these beetle and you can you can swap for each of them for grandpa and then each of these beetles you're just resting them and then boom boom you're drawing card right off it easily peasily that's so nice to do it you're getting so much hand advantage but then you're thinking to yourself oh little joe how in the heck in sec can i get all these cards in my dorp area i need to have seven cards in my dorp area if i want to play high of master this is craziness Okay, I'm gonna tell you it's not really that big deal. There's a couple of ways to do it. And one of those ways is playing some extra cards. So this is extra card, I really only play two. You can probably play more, but this is a good extra card because you get to play it. And when you play this card, you get to look through your deck and your targets are really gonna be Lil Goki, Gramper, or Pet the Son Goku. And you can pick any of these cards. And if you pick any of these cards, then you also have opportunity to look through your deck and say, oh, is this guy in my deck or is he in my life? Now, if he is in your life, then you're going to need to get him from your life. If he's in your deck, then you can use these cards and these cards say when you play this card, you get to look at your top seven cards. Then you can take this man or this man or this man. But you have to show it to your opponent, so your opponent's gonna know if you have your victor strike, and if you have your victor strike, they're gonna be, you know, scratching their head wondering how to do. Now, another important thing is I know when you play a new deck, you're thinking to yourself, ah, heck, how do I get this card in my hand? What is this card that I need? Now, my recommendation when you play this deck is that you're gonna send everything back if you don't get this man. Now, if you don't have this man in your hand, you're gonna send everything back, unless you get one this. And if you get one this, then this is card you're gonna keep and everything you're gonna send back and you're gonna hope that you find this man. Now, when you look for that man, if you get him in your open hand, great. If you don't, you can use this card and you can use this card to see where he is. Now, another question you're wondering is, oh, little Joe, you never answered my question of how heck I can get seven cards in my dorp area by turn four. Okay, so anyway, this card is gonna help you. Now I said that already. I already said this this bad rock is gonna help you get those cards in your dorp area. But also another thing that's gonna help you is Gine. Now Gine is a Goku's Memem and she's a really helpful Memem because what you can do is you can combo with Gine and then you put top three cards from your deck in your dorp area and then boom, you're at four already just because you put her and then you put her and it's not very hard to get three other cards in your dorp area. Maybe you have another Gine, maybe you have something else. But another thing I really like to do with this deck is you know, a lot of people are gonna swing at Beetle. You're gonna, you're gonna rest Beetle and you're gonna draw a card and then they're gonna say, guy, I wanna get that woman off the board and I'm going to attack her. And what you can do is you can put Lil Gotten and Lil Gotten, Lil Got goes in your deck and then you combo with Lil Got. And this guy is crazy because when one of your battle cards is attack, he gives plus 15K combo power. Now I know it says plus 5K combo power and you're thinking to yourself, Lil Joe, why are you being such a nightmare liar? But that's not true. He says in his ability, if you're blocking battle card and your leader is yellow or battle, whatever, it's bad yellow battle card and you're blocking it with him, he gets extra plus 10,000, so he becomes 15K and that is gonna be your opponent's nightmare. Nice man, nice man. So you're gonna block with him, your beetle's still alive, they just wasted attack. Then next turn you get to haha, -ha, rest beetle again, you get to get a card from beetle, you get to swing with your leader, take a life, draw a card, and boom, that's three cards right there. Just in one turn. Now if you have two beetle, that's four card. Now if you play the Pet to Greatness Goku, when you play him, he rests one of your opponent's battle card, and you get to draw a card. So boom, that's like, you can get like five cards in one turn with this deck. It's craziness, it's just so craziness, but it's so fun to play. Now, Couple other things maybe we'll talk about negates. I think Flying Nimbus is such a good negate. And if it's not a good negate, then it's gonna be a good charge because everything in this deck is yellow, except your Awakened Power of Goku, but you're obviously never gonna charge him. And I think this is a really good negate. It's really good because basically what can happen is if you're against Storm matchup and your opponent is tacking, 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 you can use Nimbus and hopefully slow that down a little bit, maybe leave one more turn. And if you can get to turn four, I mean, you're pretty much good to go if you have the cards in hand, you know, even if you have this guy. This guy is dual attack triple strike. So this guy can hit for six life and it's unlikely that they're not gonna take two lives from your leader swing from the beginning of the game. And what's really crazy, so basically, when you have this guy waken, you flip him over, you get two energy back. Now, if you're turn four and you already awaken and you have you spend your four energy to swap into I have mastery from your path of greatness, and you're thinking to myself, 
ah, Lil Joe, you are a liar because now I can't play my Awakened Power because I need another energy, and how do I get another energy? Aha, that's where your Leader Man comes into play. So Leader Man has special abilities. One, he can rest a card. So if they have a blocker out on the board, then you can't rest all their energy and the blocker. You can rest the energy with Hive Mastery. Then you can rest the blocker with your leader. Then you can use your leader ability to draw one card from your life and stand a card back up. So you can stand up on your energy to evolve back into this guy. Or if you don't have this guy, you can swing for three, swing for three, and then they're thinking, oh, I'm safe, but I don't think so. You take one card from your life from leader ability and then boom, you get this guy back out and you swing with him again and then you're swinging for nine damage in one turn. So it's just kind of crazy stuff. It's pretty cool, it's pretty crazy, but it's pretty cool. Now, I put a couple other little techs in this deck, you know, I put like, I like to use this Jekyll as my super combo because you're gonna get to under four life when you're gonna start using these guys. And he has a plus 10k even if you, if you, if you don't get to draw off him, so sometimes he can protect something you need. Uh, I just play one of these guys, you know, there aren't that many deadly defenders I see these days, but if you see him, he's kind of good just to get rid of some deadly defender. And then Battering, you gotta play it. Battering is such a useful card, you know, if you're gonna swing with your high mastery and they use their dimension magic and you can Battering it, then they're gonna be in a poop poop position and then they have to take that hit or combo out of it. And Cold Bloodlust, oh my goodness, is this card good. So one of the things that really messes this deck up is Chain Xeno. And if somebody is gonna Chain Xeno you, then you gotta Bloodlust their, their Trunks. And if you can Bloodlust their Trunks, then you're gonna be in a much better position. I also like Time Magic. I mean, this is a really, really strong negate. You can negate from your life. So if you don't have energy, this gives you an option to negate from your life and you can stop somebody with multiple attacks. And then the last kind of tech that I put in is I, you know, I put this, he's kind of, this is Whis is kind of like a Brogos and he's kind of like Brogos, but he's just yellow. So I use him for that. And then there's this Demigur because Broly is thing right now. And you know, to deal with Broly, I use Fu and I use Demigur. And even if, you know, you're not using Fu, he's just 5k combo. So it doesn't really hurt your deck that much. Uh, and then if you, you know, if you don't use him, he's 5k combo, or you get to banish some card if you need to do it. And what's nice about having him, you know, you know, you're thinking to yourself, oh, I need sparking for my Sonic Joku, but how are you gonna get sparking if you're using Overrun? And the answer to that is you just keep your Guinea in hand and she will help you get the sparking. So that's pretty much this deck profile. I really like it. I'm really happy to be back for making some videos. I hope you like my videos. And you know, if you are back to the channel and you come from Marvel Contest Champions, then uh, thank you for watching my video. Thank you for making this far into my video. If you're new to the channel and you like this kind of stuff and you want to hear maybe some more joke from Joku, then please don't forget to put that subscription button, hit that ding dong bell, because I will be making more videos with some silly decks that are maybe fun to play. And you know, I got the huts for Broly and I got this, I you know, I do make the really cool playmat. So if you need yourself on the playmat, this is my Hive of Master playmat. And this is my own personal playmat that I use to intimidate my opponents. And you know, thanks for watching my show. So have a really nice time and okay, thank you, bye bye. Nightmare! Dick, dicks.